Tally ho there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the show. Today I'll be reviewing the QNAPS TBS 453A. It's M.2 SSD NAS book. So instead of using these hard drives, your mechanical hard drives, it uses M.2 SSD. This awesome QNAP TBS 453A super portable, super quiet, uses the latest technology in M.2 SSDs. Now, your hard drives are going nowhere. WD Red or mechanical hard drives, especially ones made for NAS and enterprise environments are going nowhere. They still give you the best bang for buck storage options. But if you want something ultra portable, something that uses M.2 SSDs is awesome. So who is this for? So this is for someone that wants something portable, almost silent, that needs to take his data on the go. So maybe a professor, teacher, you could use it in a classroom environment where you could stick it on a table, you could have students plugging into it, you could use it at a business meeting, stick it in the middle of the table, get everyone to plug into it because it is a network switch too, it's portable. It can handle from 10 to 20 volts, so we can use a range of power adapters there. And even someone who's got a small apartment or just wants something discreet and small that you can hide out of the way and you don't have enormous amounts of data that you need to back up, this will suit them too. I could see myself using this going overseas or a photography trip. Instead of having an external hard drive, I reckon I could use this instead. It's portable. The advantages of using this over an external hard drive that you might take with you on your holiday or your business trip is that you can use RAID in this. So you can use RAID 5 for example and you can have your data that's redundant, uh, just a normal USB hard drive or whatever. If that fails, your data's gone. So at least this has some data protection built in. So as I said, it uses the M.2 SSD. You can put four of those in there. So I'll just go over the ports. Here you have a one touch copy button. You have two USB three ports, SD card slot there. So that's awesome. You have volume control buttons here. You have the four LED indicators for the network switch there. You have your power button. Interestingly, on the side here, you have a USB 2. And then on the back, you have a Kensington lock, two HDMI ports, two USB 3 ports, audio out, two audio in, so you can do karaoke. And as I said, this is a network switch. That's your WAN port, gigabit ethernet ports there, and you have the power there. So it's fully loaded as you would expect all QNAP NASs are, and especially a high-end model like this. So it's toolless entry. You easily just peel back those rubber feet there, you flick up the lever, and you can just unscrew it. Do it to all four feet there, and you have access to the inside to put your M.2 SSD. So it's toolless, and you'll see that it's easy to upgrade the RAM as well. So I'll just quickly run over the specs with you. Intel Ceralon N3150 quad core 1.6 gigahertz processor that can burst up to 2.08 gigahertz. It has AES NI hardware encryption. So that's a chip built into it that will encrypt your data that makes encryption so much quicker. So that's the more advanced encryption, the AES NI. And because this has hardware encryption built in, you virtually get no hit in transfer speeds. So there is a little bit of a hit in performance, but it's so minute, it's not even worth worrying about. Even though this uses M.2 SSDs, which are super fast SSDs, you're still limited by your network performance. So with this model here, you can link two of these LAN ports together with link aggregation, and you can get over 200 megabytes per second transfer read and write and that's even with encryption enabled so so you won't get the full speed out of your ssds but two of those linked together you're still going to get great performance this has four gigabytes you can use up to eight gigabyte and that's easily upgradable as i said it's a network switch so you have the wan port and four network ports there you can output to 4k resolution its dimensions are 25 by 230 by 165 millimeters only weighs 760 grams. Power consumption is very low, so this actually uses very little power. At system sleep, 0.98 watts. At SSD standby, it's 13.05 watts, and in operation, 15.2 watts. So power efficient and noise, it's virtually silent. And it also has 
Intel's 8th generation HD graphics, which is important because it can transcode 4K content, so your Plex, Kodi, you're covered there with all your multimedia consumption with this device. This is great for multimedia, so you can use this with virtualization too. You have QTS Linux dual system, which you can use as a standalone PC, and it supports all of QNAP's advanced virtualization technologies, advanced snapshot built in. So I'm actually really digging this product. Awesome. Bit of kit there. Looks good. Made out of plastic, but the build quality is good. You'll either like this type of artwork or you won't. And of course, being a QNAP, it runs on QTS. It runs on version 4.2. In there, you have App Center, so you can get all your apps. You're covered with multimedia, with Photo Station, Music Station, Video Station, Plex, Kodi. You have all the advanced features of QNAP QTS, which is snapshots you have apps like container station docker all the advanced network features built-in q search so it's easy to find all your files and data you can back up automatically all your data from your mac pc whatever automatically q sync you have q cloud and q drive so you can actually access all your data remotely and you can even sync with dropbox google drive etc you have all these apps on your mobile phone as well so you can back up your mobile phone you can access your data on your mobile phone anywhere also has surveillance station and i'll be looking into surveillance station soon i've actually bought an ip camera so i'll show you how to set up surveillance station all in all this is a fantastic product if you need something light portable or even if you need something small and discreet and you want something with silent operation. Now it's not going to give you the storage capacity of hard drives and as far as I know there aren't any M.2 NAS SSDs that are built specifically for RAID and also I might mention that when you do get an M.2 SSD do not get an NVMe one. Make sure you look at QNAP's compatibility list. I will leave a link in the description to that. Make sure you get one of those, a Samsung 850 Evo, something like that. So it's light portable very powerful hardware there backed by QNAP's QTS so you've got all your advanced features multimedia covered you can use it as a standalone PC and I've got a video on how to use your QNAP as a home theater PC I'd like to see maybe if they bring out another model in the future maybe include some USB type C there so you can get the full speed of your SSDs I mean the future with these small light devices using M.2 SSDs is limitless really. I can't wait to see what comes in the future but um, definitely recommend one of these. So there you have it guys, that's my review of the QNAP TBS 453A M.2 SSD NAS book. It's a great product, I think you'll agree there. I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, that helps me out tremendously. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. And make sure you subscribe for a lot more tech content coming soon. And until next time, guys, tally ho.